Hello, everybody. You want to make a door that opens and closes by itself? Well, here I am here to show you how to do that. Just grab this. Use this. Just like that. And you can do this as many times as you want. Just like this. Okay. We'll show you what you need to make that happen. So of course you need the key item. You will need a conditional button, a lock device, a trigger, and a door. Okay. Here's the settings and I will also put everything into the end screen of this video. So unactivate it with the conditional button. It will send the event to lock device on activation. So unlock, open, unlock, open. That's because I have this second one right here. Now on this second one, we have unlock to conditional button and lock from trigger. Toggle lock from trigger, on triggered. It's like I said, I will end up putting all of these settings into the end screen for y'all. Uh, and this is how I have it set up. We have the delay set to one. This way it ain't too short or long of a delay. And it will be triggered by the player. On triggered, it sends the event to the lock device. And all of it goes on here. So basically what you would do is take this, put that right there. This is just how I'm setting mine up. It doesn't have to be like this, but you do have to set your lock device on the door. Okay. So just like that, we'll show you. There is two of these just like this. And we'll show you how this is going to work. So you go over here, put that in just like that. Same thing as this one. And it won't close until you run over this device right here. As I said, I will put everything that you need to learn at the end of this video to make your devices work. Thank you.